What do you think it is? Mike, Mike, Mike and I are, uh, we're, we're heading to a spot today to hopefully find some Civil War bullets, but we're mudlarking along the way. What do you think did you find, Mike? I think it's just a rock, buddy. No, it is a rock. Oh, well, that's not, that's not good on the video. No. You got there, Mike. Uh, oh yeah. It's a cast iron top to a stove, an old uh, wood stove. This is your uh, exhaust pipe here. Yep. And then your top here would have been an opening for, I don't know, what you meant, cooking or something. But that's, meant, that's old. Imagine a home number one being heated up with that. Yeah. And number two, like a pot of tea boiling there on top go. there. Or... Yep. And then sometimes they would just boil water just to put in the winter time. They would put. Uh, humidity into the room yeah it's so dry we used to do that when we had a wood stove that's cool Ooh, here's a cool feather let me get that let me get that feather in the light for us here mike was just saying he doesn't know i don't know what, what... no that's a very looking bird that is a pretty feather though yep. it's like a finch maybe of some kind too big for that. Uh, I don't know. Do you keep feathers? I do not know. But that is pretty. It means a bird lost a feather. <laughs> I think we're going to have a good day though. I, I agree, Mike. You know what? It seems like sometimes when me and you are together, just me and you, we've had some of our best. We've had some great days, you know, and I, I, I um, I think about this a lot when you meld detect. Like if you didn't have that positive attitude of like, today's gonna be a great day, you would never get back out because you have plenty of bad days that just, yeah. you know, they yeah, could just. Uh, the bad days make, make it more of the good ones really fun. Yeah, absolutely. And then some days just getting out walking in the water is nice. Oh man, yeah. Yeah, we've been we've been walking for maybe 15 minutes. We haven't even turned our detectors on yet. We're trying to make our way downstream first. Hello, Mr. Butterfly. That's a swallowtail. That is a pretty a few little tail pieces coming off the end there. They call that a swallowtail. Beautiful creature. Nice. <laughs> Check out this uh, bedrock here. I love this. Beautiful. I love detecting in bedrock. It's the best place. This to... looks like something from the uh, Amazon. <laughs> this has a yeah. Beautiful. We'll be hitting this here after a bit, guys. We're just going to make our way downstream and... first. We're going to come back up. And hit oh, this little fish here. <laughs> I did that little short recently where I, I really feel like I'm in a fish tank when I'm oh, in these. Yeah, cool, man. <laughs> I was just upstream, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, that was up. That was in the same river. Yeah, I just found a, a bullet up there. We're hoping to find some bullets down here. You see this here, Patrick? What we got? Let people know when you see a spot like that, that's a fish uh, nest. Oh yeah, yeah it's cleared off all the silt and stuff. It's it's funny because when I see those, sometimes I think a metal detectorist was here, yeah, but does, usually but they're, usually they're fish. just fish. And there's none there now. This was probably from last, this last spring. Um, they they keep everything out of there's nothing there now they're they've already spawned pretty much now in, in the spring once the water hits a certain temperature that triggers their neck their instinct a little bit deep here not We don't always get this, but you can hear some faint distance of cars and then the uh, the insects here. But the, like I, Mike and I talk about this, like when we're when we're at a place like this where we know there was Civil War activity, how loud and scary it would have been. It, whether you were in the battle or just a civilian nearby, the echoing of those artillery shells would have been just very scary. See, I just found a Civil War barrel. <laughs> 
<laughs> You're joking, but maybe. <laughs> no, I don't think it is. Nah. It's too light. Man. It's a little weird, isn't it? It's not, though. What's on the, is there like a lip on the end of that? Yeah, that's like a pipe. Yeah. Well, I just found a, an iron band. Most, I'm not sure. Most likely to a barrel. I think this is pretty old, but I am not an expert on whatever this is, but this was an interesting find. All right, I got something pretty exciting coming up on my scoop there. You can see that is what we were out here looking for today. That is a super good sign. I'm gonna call Mike over and uh, see if we can find some more, but that is exactly what we're looking for. All right, so this is quite interesting. I gotta talk to Mike about this one. <laughs> I don't know if this is a, a carved off base if this is, this is pretty hefty, that may have been a 69 cal, I don't know. I'm at a loss on this one. I'll show this to Mike and see what he thinks. But this is really close to where I just found the first two little bullets. They were right next to this, so. We'll keep looking here. Alright, here's a nice little sign. A harmonica reed. Oh, part of one. It's actually the harmonica reed holder, is technically what this is. Um, I recently found a harmonica reed that, um, I'll, I'll put it out in a separate video because I think it's a little different than this. This here is a typical harmonica reed, but I found one I think is is a little unique, or different than all the other ones that I found. So I'll do a little video on that um, to explain what I'm talking about. But yeah, I mean, this may have been Civil War soldier. No way to know that for sure, but... Um, certainly they could have been passing the time, but you never know. If it's not Civil War, it's a good sign that there could be other good relics here. And look at these big fish coming by me. <laughs> All right, I will keep on hunting. I have just found something that could be pretty amazing. Now, I don't know exactly what this is going to be. I'm going to have to talk to Mike about this, but I think this is pretty amazing. There's a number two on there with some writing above it. I'm going to have to get out my magnifying glass to see if I can read what that is. I think this might be coming off of a hat. But just to guess, i got to get Mike's attention here and get him up to see this because this is pretty, this is pretty good. He's going to be pretty excited. Well, I'm not sure. So I got my magnifying glass out, and it re I believe it says Junior on there. Junior 2. So, yeah, I'm not sure what this is. I'm, I'm hoping it's Civil War related, but I'm not sure yet. But that is pretty cool. Hopefully Mike will know. If not, we'll, we'll look it up. Hey Mike, you wanna check out something cool here? Yeah. Look at this log. Oh neat. I see the shells. I'm guessing is that like maybe an otter? Yeah, an otter or a raccoon or something that was <laughs> up here and having a uh, mussels meal basically. Pretty recently too. I mean it looks yeah. pretty fresh. Yeah. Well, maybe a couple nights here of uh, yep. dining. Yeah. yeah. They catch them and eat them. Look around for footprints in the bank. You might be able to be able to tell oh, what yeah. it was too. Yeah, I was thinking there was some over here maybe. Yep, there's some. Oh, there's like a hornet. There's some hornets there. Ooh, 
Probably mud daubers. Yeah. Yep, those are mud daubers. Oh yeah, there's like three or four of them right here. Uh, I was just on a signal here, so I'm gonna find what this signal is and get out of here. <laughs> Yeah, so this is the second one of these I've found today. I believe they are net weights. I'll see if I can find the other one here. Yeah, right here. I mean, you can see they're they're pretty big. I mean, they're not just sinkers. These uh, I believe would have held uh, nets down, and they're they're probably pretty old, late eighteen early nineteen hundreds. I imagine at some point they were doing some kind of net fishing here to catch. Uh, I don't know, catch a, a small groups of fish. Yeah, these ring up, boy, these scream at you when you get them. I think there's another one way up there, too. Well, that's a crazy big find. <laughs> well, this is a little strange. This is the second one of these that I found in like uh, less than a minute. I think these are uh, duds, um, just blanks for shooting uh, um, just the noise. Um, but like I said, it's the second one I found and I am in the middle of a river, so I'm not sure why. I'd find two here, I'd be willing to bet if I search a little bit more around here, I'll maybe find a third one. Um, well, let me get a try and see if I can find one more. Let's make this a challenge here. See how many we can find. Oh, it's going to be a little hard to see because the wind is making ripples here, but there's number three. Right down there, let me see if I can retrieve it here. Let's see how I can... Uh, this is how I get um, items when I'm like, uh, right now the water's just up past my waist. And so once I've got it out, I can just simply hold it on there and just bring it up really gently and slowly. I do this a lot. You'll see um, when I pull uh, certain items out, they're just kind of sitting on my scoop like that. That's how I'm getting when I get into pretty deep water. So. That's one technique I use, but yeah, that's the third one of those, and I'm sure if I keep uh, searching, I'll find a whole lot more right in this area. Not sure how many of these I do want to find, though. Maybe that'll be it. Uh, well, maybe I'll find one more. We'll see. Well, make that number four. <laughs> these uh, keep popping out all over here. Um, I'll keep digging them if I hear them, but I'd also kind of like to move on and find some other more interesting things, but... Alrighty. <laughs> hey Mike, you gonna do some cartwheels with that? Yeah man. <laughs> I think I'm gonna take that haul and that fit on my daughter's bike or something. <laughs> I don't know, it's just some cart or something. That's funny. That's heavy. Splash. Here we go. Insert to a yep. uh, mason jar top. <sighs> oh, it's only half of one. Yeah. Half of an insert. There's got to be something cool that you could do with these, you know? Yeah, people do make stuff with them. So I'm, I may be a tenth of a mile upstream from where I was finding this. This is number five. Mike just found one, too. So it's six total between the two of us, but... I don't know why these keep showing up, but it's both cool and annoying at the same time. All right, Mike and I moved on to another location. We've been here uh, several times, um, but uh, yeah, I just pulled this really slick double axe head. Yeah, that thing is cool. It won't be so cool to carry it with me, but I think I have to take this home because I have a couple other axe heads. This thing is neat. And surprisingly, it's not that tarnished. I mean, the one side is a little bit here, but yeah. Well, let's throw it in the pouch and carry it on out. Ugh.